Emotional contagion, the ripple effect of feelings. Emotions are powerful drivers of human behavior, influencing everything from individual actions to societal norms. One particularly fascinating aspect of emotions is their contagious nature, how they can spread from person to person, shaping collective experiences and behaviors. This phenomenon, known as emotional contagion, plays a crucial role in various settings, from personal relationships to workplaces and large-scale social movements. Understanding Emotional Contagion Emotional contagion refers to the process by which one person's emotions trigger similar emotions in others. This can happen through various channels, including facial expressions, body language, tone of voice, and even digital communication. When someone smiles, for instance, it can prompt a smile in return, fostering a shared sense of joy. Conversely, negative emotions like anger or sadness can also spread, impacting group dynamics and individual well-being. The Mechanisms Behind Emotional Contagion The spread of emotions is largely driven by our inherent social nature and the brain's mirror neuron system. Mirror neurons are brain cells that react both when we act and when we observe someone else performing the same action. This neural mirroring helps us empathize with others, understanding and sharing their emotional states. Moreover, social and cultural factors also play a role. Humans are wired to connect and conform to social norms, and part of this process involves aligning our emotions with those around us. This alignment fosters social cohesion and can enhance group functioning. Emotional contagion in different contexts. 1. Personal relationships. In close relationships, emotional contagion can strengthen bonds and promote empathy. Partners who share and reflect on each other's emotions often experience deeper connection and understanding. However, it can also mean that negative emotions, like stress or frustration, can easily spread, potentially leading to conflict if not managed properly. Example, imagine a family dinner where one member comes home stressed from work. Their irritability can quickly affect the mood of the entire family, leading to a tense atmosphere. On the other hand, if someone comes home in high spirits, their enthusiasm can uplift everyone, turning an ordinary meal into a joyful gathering. 2. Workplaces. In professional settings, emotional contagion can significantly impact team dynamics and productivity. Positive emotions, such as enthusiasm and optimism, can boost morale and motivate employees. Leaders who exhibit positive emotions often create a more engaging and supportive work environment. On the other hand, a workplace rife with negativity can suffer from low morale and high turnover rates. Example, in an open plan office, a manager who consistently displays positive energy and optimism can motivate the team, leading to increased productivity and job satisfaction. Conversely, a manager who often exhibits frustration and anger can create a toxic work environment, causing stress and dissatisfaction among employees. 3. Social media. The digital age has amplified the reach of emotional contagion. Emotions can spread rapidly through social networks, with posts and comments influencing the mood of entire communities. This can have both positive effects, such as mobilizing support for causes, and negative effects, like the spread of anxiety or anger. Example, on platforms like Twitter or Facebook, a viral post expressing outrage can trigger widespread anger and debate, influencing the emotional climate of the online community. Similarly, a heartfelt story of kindness can spread positivity and inspire similar acts among a large audience. 4. Mass Movements and Public Behavior Emotional contagion plays a crucial role in mass gatherings and movements. The collective emotion at events like protests, concerts, or sports games can create a powerful shared experience. This collective emotion can drive social change or reinforce community bonds, depending on the context and the emotions involved. Example, at a political rally, passionate speeches and collective chanting can stir powerful emotions, creating a shared sense of purpose and unity among the crowd. This collective emotion can drive social change, as seen in movements like the civil rights movement or recent climate change protests. Managing Emotional Contagion Understanding emotional contagion is the first step towards managing its effects. Here are some strategies to harness positive contagion and mitigate negative influences. 1. 
Self-awareness, being aware of your emotional state and how it might affect others is crucial. Mindfulness practices can help individuals maintain emotional balance. Regular mindfulness practices, such as meditation and deep breathing exercises, can help individuals maintain emotional balance and become more aware of their emotional states. Take time to reflect on your emotions and their origins. Understanding your emotional triggers can help you manage your responses more effectively. 2. Positive leadership. Leaders can set the emotional tone in groups or organizations. By modeling positive emotions and constructive responses to challenges, they can foster a healthier emotional climate. 3. Communication skills. Effective communication, including active listening and empathy, can help manage and diffuse negative emotions while reinforcing positive ones. 4. Healthy boundaries. It's important to establish boundaries to protect oneself from the negative emotions of others, especially in high-stress environments. Emotional contagion is a testament to the interconnected nature of human emotions. While it can lead to the spread of negative feelings, it also holds the potential to foster positive, supportive environments. By understanding and managing emotional contagion, individuals and groups can harness its power to build stronger, more empathetic connections and create a more harmonious society. How do individual differences influence susceptibility to emotional contagion? Individual differences can significantly influence how susceptible a person is to emotional contagion. Some key factors include 1. Personality traits. Empathy. Individuals with higher levels of empathy are more likely to pick up and share the emotions of others. They tend to be more attuned to the emotional states of those around them. Extroversion, introversion, extroverts, who are often more socially engaged, might experience emotional contagion more intensely in social settings compared to introverts. Neuroticism, people high in neuroticism may be more sensitive to negative emotions and more likely to absorb stress or anxiety from others. 2. Emotional intelligence. Those with high emotional intelligence are better at recognizing and managing their own emotions and those of others. They may be more adept at resisting negative emotional contagion while promoting positive emotions. 3. Psychological resilience. Resilient individuals can maintain emotional stability in the face of others' emotions, effectively buffering themselves from negative emotional contagion. 4. Past experiences. Individuals with past experiences of trauma or emotional instability may be more vulnerable to emotional contagion, particularly negative emotions. 5. Social sensitivity. People who are highly sensitive to social cues and interactions might be more affected by the emotional states of others, making them more prone to emotional contagion. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. What are some specific strategies for managing emotional contagion in the workplace? Managing emotional contagion in the workplace involves fostering a positive emotional climate and implementing strategies to minimize the spread of negative emotions. Here are some effective strategies. 1. Promote positive leadership. Leaders should model positive behavior and emotions, setting the tone for the rest of the team. Their optimism and calm demeanor can have a trickle-down effect. For instance, showing appreciation for employees' efforts can boost morale and productivity. 2. Encourage open communication. Open communication channels can help address issues before they escalate and spread. Create an environment where employees feel safe to express their emotions and concerns without fear of judgment or retaliation. Practice active listening by giving full attention to the speaker, acknowledging their feelings, and responding empathetically. This can help address issues before they escalate. 3. Provide emotional support. Offer resources like counseling services, stress management workshops, and mental health days. Supporting employees' emotional well-being can mitigate the spread of negative emotions. Encourage the formation of peer support groups where employees can share their experiences and offer mutual support. 4. Foster team cohesion. Promote team-building activities and a sense of community within the workplace. Strong, positive relationships among colleagues can help buffer against negative emotional contagion. 
Acknowledge and celebrate team achievements to boost morale and reinforce positive emotions. 5. Set clear boundaries. Encourage employees to set boundaries to manage their work-life balance. This can help prevent burnout and the spread of stress-related emotions. Ensure that workloads are manageable and distribute tasks fairly to avoid overburdening employees. 6. Recognize and reward positivity. Acknowledge and reward positive behavior and emotional contributions. Recognition can reinforce positive emotional states and encourage others to emulate them. Incentive programs. Implement incentive programs to reward positive behavior and emotional contributions. Recognition can reinforce positive emotional states and encourage others to emulate them. Positive feedback. Provide regular positive feedback to employees, acknowledging their efforts and achievements. 7. Implement mindfulness practices. Encourage practices such as mindfulness and meditation, which can help employees manage their emotional states and reduce susceptibility to negative emotional contagion. Offer mindfulness training sessions to help employees develop skills to manage their emotional states and reduce susceptibility to negative emotional contagion. Encourage employees to take mindful breaks during the workday to relax and recharge. Are there cultural differences in the experience and impact of emotional contagion? Yes, cultural differences can significantly affect how emotional contagion is experienced and its impact on individuals and groups. Some key cultural factors include 1. Collectivism versus individualism. In collectivist cultures, where group harmony and cohesion are highly valued, emotional contagion might be more pronounced as individuals are more attuned to the emotions of the group. In contrast, individualistic cultures might place more emphasis on personal emotional regulation and independence. Example, in collectivist cultures, such as those in many Asian countries, group harmony and cohesion are highly valued. As a result, emotional contagion might be more pronounced as individuals are more attuned to the emotions of the group. In contrast, individualistic cultures, like those in the United States and Western Europe, might place more emphasis on personal emotional regulation and independence. 2. Expression of emotions. Cultures differ in how emotions are expressed and perceived. In some cultures, open expression of emotions is encouraged, which can facilitate emotional contagion. In others, emotional restraint is valued, which might reduce the visible spread of emotions. Example, in Mediterranean cultures, open expression of emotions is often encouraged, which can facilitate emotional contagion. Conversely, in Scandinavian cultures, emotional restraint is valued, which might reduce the visible spread of emotions. 3. Social norms and context. Cultural norms dictate appropriate emotional responses in different contexts. For example, public displays of emotion might be more acceptable in some cultures than others, influencing how emotional contagion manifests in social settings. Example, cultural norms dictate appropriate emotional responses in different contexts. For example, public displays of emotion might be more acceptable in Latin American cultures compared to East Asian cultures, influencing how emotional contagion manifests in social settings. 4. Power distance. In cultures with high power distance, where hierarchical structures are emphasized, emotional contagion might flow more strongly from leaders to subordinates. As people in lower positions might be more influenced by the emotions of those in authority. Example, in cultures with high power distance, such as those in many Middle Eastern and Asian countries, emotional contagion might flow more strongly from leaders to subordinates. People in lower positions might be more influenced by the emotions of those in authority compared to cultures with low power distance, where hierarchical structures are less emphasized. 5. Approach to conflict. Cultures vary in their approach to conflict and emotional expression during disagreements. Some cultures may adopt a more confrontational style, leading to a different pattern of emotional contagion compared to cultures that prefer harmony and indirect communication. Example. Cultures vary in their approach to conflict and emotional expression during disagreements. In cultures that prefer harmony and indirect communication, such as Japan, emotional contagion might manifest through subtle cues and body language. 
In more confrontational cultures, like the United States, emotional contagion might be more direct and vocal. Understanding these cultural differences is crucial for managing emotional contagion in multicultural settings, whether in workplaces, social interactions, or global organizations. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.